I am Anil Kumar sharing with you some good questions from the previous test papers. Now here is the one which is also in your textbook. The question here is on polynomial transformations. The question here is that a person has reflected the function g of x equals to x cube in the x-axis vertically compressed it by a factor of 2 over 3 horizontally translated it 13 units to the right vertically translated it 13 units down. Three points on the resulting curve are 11 minus 23 over 3, 13 minus 13 and 15 minus 55 over 3. Determine the original coordinates of these three points on g of x. I'd like you to pause the video, copy the question, answer and then look into my suggestions. Now here is my copy of this question. So we've written this question as function g of x equals to x cube is reflected in the x-axis vertically compressed by a factor of 2 over 3 horizontally translated 13 units to the right and vertically translated 13 units down. Three points on the resulting curve are 11 minus 23 over 3, 13 minus 13 and 15 minus 55 over 3. Determine the original coordinates of these points on the g of x. So what we will do here is we'll write down the transform function. Let us say the transform function is f of x. So f of x is equal to, let's go through these transformation. Reflected in the x-axis, that gives us minus vertically compressed by a factor of 2 over 3, that is 2 over 3, horizontally translated 13 units to the right. This is being done to the function g of x. So let me first write just general g. Okay, translated 13 units to the right means x minus 13 and then, then vertically translated 13 units down minus 13. And then you get three points. So that is the general form and since we are given that this function g of x is x cube, right? So we are given g of x is x cube. So we'll write this as a cubic function. So we have f of x as minus 2 over 3 x minus 13 whole cube minus 13. So you get the point. So that becomes the transformed function f of x. Now we are given these points. These points are on f of x. We need to find original point on g of x. Correct? So, so basically what is happening is that we have a function g of x which gets transformed to f of x then how do the points get transformed? If the original point is x0, y0, then on f of x, x0 will be, let me write down, x plus 13, since it is translated 13 units to the right. As far as the y points are concerned, they will get multiplied by minus 2 over 3, so let me write this as original x point, original y point, and then minus 13. So that becomes the transform point. Now this equation should help you to find the original points for all three of them. Now you can pause the video, do the calculations, get the answer. I will do one of them for you. So let me take uh, the last one. So I'll take this one as an example. Okay, so let's take this one. So, uh, what we have here is the transform point x0 plus 13 is 15. So, we will get two equations. So, we'll do both of them side by side. Or let me start with the first point, which is 15, right? So, x0 plus 13 is 15. So, we get an equation, which is x0 plus 13 equals to 15. And you can rearrange. So when you rearrange, you get x0 equals to 15 minus 13. So the original point x value is 2 on g of x, which is x cubed, right? So that is how you get the x coordinate. Now, let us do the y coordinate, 
way. So let me let me do the y coordinate on the right side. So what we have here is minus two over three of the y coordinate minus thirteen is equal to minus fifty five over three. So this is what we get. So we can rearrange. So we have minus two over three of y coordinate is minus 55 over 3 plus 13. So let's calculate this. This is minus 55. Common denominator, let's take this 3 plus 39. Is it okay? So that gives us minus 2 over 3 of y coordinate value is, let's use calculator. So we'll do 39 minus 55 which is minus 16 over 3. Is it okay? So from here, y0 will be equals to minus 16 over 3 times minus 2 over 3. So clearly, I mean, sorry, it should be, it should be reverse, right? So minus 3 over 2, right? So 3 and 3 cancel out. Minus minus becomes plus and 16 divided by 2 is 8. You get the idea, right? So that is how you can calculate the y coordinate. So what we can write here is our answer. That is this particular point, which is 15 minus 55 over 3 on this transform function was x value we calculated 2, right? And the y value is 8. Right, so this was the point 28 in g of x. So that is on f of x, and this one is on g of x. You can see 2 cube is 8, so that is a good check. I hope with this you understand how to do the reverse calculations to find original points. So what we learned here was reverse calculations. to find original points. Now this is extremely important question seen in almost every test on transformations. So go through this, try to understand and don't forget to solve for the other two points. Okay, so you have to do all the three points. I've done just one for you. Correct? I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and learn a lot from my videos. I normally share test questions and if you have any difficulty, do let me know. I'll try to answer your question in 48 hours. Thank you and all the best.